miles? I drove seven hours. We drove eight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <coughs> four, yeah. Tampa. Tampa, Florida. You got Orlando, Florida. Okay, about 400 miles. Is it? Raise your hand. You're going 400? 500. 600. Good. Okay. Anybody okay. okay. less than 20? Anybody good less than 20 miles? Less than 20 miles. Less than 20. Got two miles. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Uh, less than 15? Where are you from? Right down the street. There you go. <laughs> My uh, two favorites were number three and number five. They're absolutely the juiciest pieces that I've ever had. And here you can see the perfectly uh, clear juice right there. Um, number one and number two had a real nice kick to it, a little, little spice to it. Um, but my clear favorites were number three and number five here. My favorites were two and five out of the chicken. Okay, of the, the samples I had, I think three had the best flavor. Five was probably cooked um, the best. Had several that were slightly overcooked. One was extremely overcooked, but uh, overall good selection. And uh, my samples today, I had uh, two that were well well done overcooked number one and number six they definitely uh seem to fall apart quite a bit my favorite was definitely number five um and number three so number five was good and number three was kind of my second choice uh 
Uh, my favorites were probably number four and number five. I thought number four had a lot of smokiness in it that the others didn't have quite that as much. And I thought that number five was incredibly well cooked. And maybe this one? Like this? No, nope, other way. Okay. And this one? That one. This way? Other way. Because you can push it, you have enough room to push it down that way. That way? Turn around. There you go. Of the six rib entries, uh, in the category. Uh, number one uh, had a clearly superior flavor in my opinion to the others. Uh, also appeared to be cooked at just an optimum time period. A couple of the others, uh, number four especially, it, it was evident that uh, there was an extended hold time that caused the meat to become too tender and fall off the bone. Uh, number five and number six both had good flavors as well. But uh, the one differentiating factor was the uh, tendency for meat to get too soft and mushy when it remains in a hold pattern for too long. But number one, uh, again, was clearly the number, the uh, winner here. You didn't like number one, did you? I'm not going to push a button or just talk. Nope, I like the second entry and the uh, fifth entry. Uh, the third entry was awful. I had like a whiskey or off taste to it and then uh, the sixth entry had just a blah taste to it I didn't enjoy any okay uh, entries two and five were tied for first as far as I'm concerned both of them were almost perfect um, one four and six were all tied pretty much for second. And number three had a, a slight chemical creosote type uh, taste to it, which uh, really kind of knocked it out of the running. But all in all, not too bad. Not too bad. Number one was slightly overcooked, but had a really good flavor to it. Um, number two was tasty and a little underdone. Uh, number three, um, had an off flavor to it um, and was undercooked. Number four had lots of um, sauce on it. I didn't get much flavor off the rib itself. Um, and number five, good flavor but undercooked, kind of tough. And number six was overcooked also and very heavily sauced. I thought number one was excessively salty. Uh, may have just been my piece uh, and I th thought it, uh, it had a hard crust on it the, the outside of the meat was kind of tough but then it got tender closer to the bone thought number two had the best flavor uh, it was rather chewy particularly on the bottom side three uh, it was okay flavor it was uh, a little fatty but it was uh, very chewy as well uh, four tasted, uh, the, the tenderness was kind of mealy, uh, just real grainy, maybe may overdone, I, I don't know, but it, it just kind of grainy in your mouth, almost like it dissolved, uh, couldn't get much flavor out because of that, um, five was about an average rib, I, I didn't see much standing out on it, and I think six might have had a good opportunity to, had decent flavor I thought, but uh, it, it, it was a fat on one end of the bone and kind of narrow on the other caused it to be overdone on one side and underdone on the other. But two was probably my favorite as far as taste. I think the biggest smoke ring I've ever seen. Come on,
bucks. Man, look at that. You got, you got a double one. Okay, I thought number one was excellent in appearance, but it was somewhat dry. Number two, I thought was right on. It tasted very good, very good flavor and moist. Number three, I felt the same way. In fact, I like both of them very much. Number four, I thought it was a little too dry and uh, could have used a little more flavor. Number five, I thought was mushy and probably cooked too long. And number six was dry and also mushy, and it lacked some flavor to the meat. Um, my favorite was probably number two, just for the flavor profile as well as the uh, texture tenderness was right on. Um, my least favorite was probably number one or number four, which were very, very dry. And also, um, just to comment on number three and number five, the money muscle uh, to me was uh, closer to mush, mushiness. Uh, it, was, it was too tender that you could just squeeze between your fingers and it would just almost disintegrate. Uh, my favorite was probably number five. It was had a really good smoky flavor, and it was a little overdone. My least favorite was probably number four. It was extremely dry and very bland. Uh, part of the meats were different colors, so it looked a little odd. Um, it was very hard to bite into because it was so dry. I thought all six entries were pretty good. Um, my favorite was number one. It had a real good flavor and it was uh, real tender. And my least favorite was number four. It was kind of mushy. Uh, tasted like it was um, a little overdone and didn't have a very good flavor. It's kind of bland. Uh, for me, the first entry was was tasty, but it had a little bit too much pepper on the, one of the pieces, and the other piece was really good. Um, the third one specifically had uh, a, a good thing we see a lot, which is the sliced just literally fell apart, but the other pieces were really, really good in texture. So a little bit of a win, a little bit of a loss, but it also had an unpleasant flavor going on as well. Um, for me, the fourth one... Again, same kind of thing where uh, one piece was one quality, the other piece was another, especially visually. Uh, and I like probably the sixth one the best uh, overall. Both pieces were really tasty without being too mushy. Uh, I'll agree with my table mates. The number one, a uh, little strong on the pepper for me. Number two, I think, was my favorite overall. Nice pork flavored. Uh, number three did uh, kind of fall apart for me and very strong on a, it was a fruit flavor of some kind um, that I found a little off-putting. Uh, number four was uh, real tough, real dry, and then number six had a great flavor um, but was a little bit on the mushy side. selection here was a uh, thick slice it pulled apart fairly easy uh, but it was pretty dry um, my second one had a fairly good flavor it was nice and tender uh, that one was a little dry also but uh, uh, overall very good uh, my third one uh, that I've got here it had a big layer of fat in that very chewy and uh, the same thing with the uh, uh, burn in was was very chewy and very tough and fatty on that and going down to number four that was probably my next favorite one uh, that had, uh, that was a little bit juicy, it pulled apart easy, it's nice and tender. Uh, going on to number five, that was a thick slice, it pulled apart easy, but it, uh, it was very dry and very chewy. Um, and going on to the last one, uh, there again we've got uh, nice thick slices on there, um, it, uh, but that one was tough. Same thing to do with the, uh, it was uh, very chewy on that, my uh, burn in and the uh, slice itself were very chewy. Uh, entry number one was was consistently good, uh, not the top on the plate, but it was uh, a nice presentation and the taste was uh, quite uh, good and the texture was good as well. Um, entry number two, 
uh, was a very, very flavorful piece and was also tender. Uh, one of my two favorites on the plate. Uh, entry three had some, uh, it was a thick slice, but there was a lot of fat left in the slice, um, but was still, overall it had very good flavor. Um, and my absolute favorite on the plate was number four. Uh, this was very flavorful. Um, had some flavors I haven't experienced before that I really enjoyed. Um, number five, uh, there was a, a bit of a cross grain cut on this, and it was a little tough and a little chewy. Um, and uh, number six was my least favorite. Uh, it came across quite dry, chewy, and, and a little tough, uh, both the burn in and the slice. So number one was a very good sample for me. I thought the taste was very good. It was just a tad bit on the dry side. Sample number two, uh, I thought the tenderness was perfect. Um, taste was okay. It was a little little bland for me. Uh, number three, there was definitely a lot of fat running through that piece, and it ended up making it very chewy. Uh, was not my favorite on the plate for sure. Number four was where I ranked number one on the plate. It had a slightly uh, almost sweet taste to it, but it's not something that I normally would get in brisket, but it worked very well with it. Uh, number five was cut off grain, and I think had it not been done that way, it probably would have been a very good sample. Uh, it came out a little tough because of the cut on it. And number six, uh, again, as the other judges said, it was probably my, my least favorite. It was definitely the toughest sample that we had. I thought all six entries were pretty close, pretty even all the way across the board. Um, entry number one was a, a heavy bullion flavor and uh, the, just a hair overdone. Um, entry number two was my favorite. It, it had a, a good natural beefy flavor and uh, some complimentary spices to that and was cooked perfectly. Number three, <coughs> was the the uh, f flat was done pretty well hair overdone flavors were decent and the uh, the burn in was well flavored but the fat was not rendered very well <clears throat> number four was just uh, kind of a middle of the road it was cooked a uh, little over Number five had it was cut kind of on a bias, not not uh, it didn't help um, its tenderness that way, and it was cut very thin. Um, had kind of a strong oniony flavor, I think. Um, number six, um, the flat was very over, very much over smoked, um, definitely over cooked as was the burn-in, although the burn-in had a better flavor and less smoke.